What is up guys, Morris here, here back with another video and today we'll be reviewing the Matrix level 1 plate carrier and going over my setup I have on it. We are currently on the floor again, haven't been on the floor doing a review of a video on this channel for about a few years now. But that's besides the point so let's get right into the review. So when you get the plate carrier it will come in this mesh plastic bag. Pretty nice for storing your plate carrier if you don't have a gear bag, a zipper on it, so you can easily put your get your plate carrier in it and get uh, get it out. All right, onto the plate carrier itself. You can get this plate carrier on evic.com for about forty five dollars. It retails for sixty, but it's always on sale for forty five. I got mine for about thirty dollars. Uh, the buy link will be in the description below. And please note, um, different colors will be different prices. The black one I have right here is probably going to be the cheapest color to produce. So, yeah. So, starting with the front of the plate carrier, we have PALS webbing. You can't see it, but um, I have a Molly medical pa uh, kit and a extra mag pouch. It, it's covering the, the PALS, but as you can see right here, there is pals and there's also pals behind it. That's how you I'm attaching these uh, pouches. There is a integrated mag pouch right here. The um, triple magazine pouch, but I keep one uh, six millimeter pro shop spring grenade in it. And if you want to want um uh, if you want other mag pouches and you do not want to use the integrated mag pouch, there is Velcro on the inside and on the other side of it so you can just fold it up like it's not even there but i like using mine so i'm gonna put my magazines back in so that's there oh and there's bungee to keep your magazines retained that you can also remove i removed the metal one because like if you have the metal one in your two magazines are just gonna bump into each other with the bungee and they're gonna be really hard to get out so I'd recommend do, uh, doing that too if you get the plate carrier. Give me a second to put my items back in the pouch. Oh, and there, there are elastic inserts in between each magazine. So that keeps them apart. It's a tight fit because it's not actually designed to uh, have the grenades stored in there. So we got your... Velcro on the top over here to put your patches and yeah, your morale patches. I got a Canadian flag right now. Looks pretty clean uh, on the plate carrier since it matches the colors. And it is also pals webbing right here. So if you want like a pistol pouch, you want to put another admin pouch. But there's already an admin pouch right here. Right at the top of the plate carrier on the, uh, the patch section and there are little elastic loops so you can put your pens in there or whatever yep elastic loops mine is starting to tear since this isn't made out of the best material it's only a $60 replica plate carrier of the uh, cry jpc honestly it's not the best replica but it gets you going if you're studying airsoft all right to the back of the plate carrier it is also fully lined with PAL webbing, right here. All right, and to for your plates, it comes with uh, two 11 by 12 sappy foam plates. But I took those out, and I'm currently using in my other plate here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So to get your plates out, this little pull tab, you pull on it. Cut some, uh, um, I cut some Amazon boxes up and used those as a dummy plate instead of the foam it came with. And to get back in, you just Velcro your two flaps back together. Yep, right there. And for the shoulder pads, it is not the best design. Let me adjust my camera real quick. I'll just put the plate carrier horizontally so you guys can see. 
it's not the best design because the cry precision, the actual plate carrier that this is a, uh, a replica of, you can un you can un velcro the shoulder straps to get them off and get them on. But this one is actually stitched in there, so if you have a smaller frame body body like I do, you have to like compress this uh, shoulder pad over the shoulder strap like like this small. <laughs> You just compress it all together, then you can adjust it, then you have to rip it all back together. So that's pretty frustrating if you, you want to adjust your plate carriers for somebody smaller. Just keep that in mind. For the combo buttons, it has the side straps. It has the little buckles on here. There are three. I, I didn't even put them in properly. But there are three on each side, the other side just like this. Pretty simple. It's nothing bulky. There is not Molly on here, so if you want attachments, you can't really do that. But you can also you can always buy another combo bun and put it on. Really minimalist, and it breathes pretty well. I've been using this for over two years now, I believe. All right, uh, on to the last part for your little flap right here into the mag pouch. I'm gonna unhook this in about six months, so that's why the velcro is so stiff. Alright, so you can also take your plate carrier off using this way by unhooking these uh the combo the combo bun, the side straps. But I would just unbuckle it. And put your dangler pouch or whatever you want right here. I do not have a dangler yet, but I'm planning to get one of these for my other plate carrier. Just hooks back in. Alright, and for the pouches I have on here. As I said, integrated mag pouch for my grenade and two M4 pouches. We got my replica HSGI taco mag pouch. There's another magazine. It also comes with a pistol pouch. We have a knockoff of the cat, cat tourniquet. I, it's airsoft, so I'm not actually planning this to stop uh, hemorrhaging. So don't get your panties in a bunch if the tourniquet's not staged properly. It's just here to look cool. I know this is the proper way how to stage a tourniquet. The, I, the one I have in my eye effect obviously staged properly, but this one, it's just for the looks. So, it looks cooler like this. I've got some shears. Again, just for the look. Not actually planning to cut somebody up. <laughs> and the uh, medical pouch. It has gauze and... It has gauze and a compression bandage in here. And yeah, I like running my play, car play carrier pretty minimalist, so... Alright. Uh, if you guys want to see a couple pictures of me in the play carrier, my Instagram will be down in the bio, the description. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.